Hello, I am Sean Langdon, and I'm coming to you today from our church property here at the Eugene Community of Christ Congregation in Oregon. I serve the church in full-time ministry as the Invitation Support and Youth Minister, as well as Camping Ministries Director for the Greater Pacific Northwest USA Mission Center. Our Mission Center joins so many others in sharing the mission of Jesus Christ as we live out stories today that I believe will one day be reflected on sacred stories of faith in the future for our tradition. As a millennial, and since part of the work that I do is coordinating young adult ministries here in the Northwest USA, I am especially drawn to the young adult experience and community of Christ. So I want to share a story with you about a man named Alexander Smith. Alexander was attending the Olive Leaf Congregation in Nauvoo, Illinois, during this young and important formative chapter of his life. One day, he was at his congregation's business meeting where a unique experience happened for him. For during the meeting, the congregation was electing their leaders and then entered into a period of discernment for a potential priesthood call. A member then addressed the congregation and said that he sensed a call for Alexander to the office of teacher. Shocked by this testimony, Alexander was sure that this must be some kind of joke, but then another affirmed the call as well. It is here that in deep humility and respect for the importance of the role of teacher, that Alexander leapt to his feet. Surely this call cannot be for him. As he reflected on his young age, he started to give all the reasons for why this call could not be true. I'm young. I'm inexperienced, unworthy, ignorant. He's quoted as saying, the tasks seem altogether too huge an undertaking for me, and I tried to avoid it, for I felt that the office of teacher was one of great importance in the life of the church. And then as he drew his argument to a close, he shared that he didn't like speaking in public either. In fact, he feared it. So surely he didn't have the courage to do so and a teacher needed to be confident enough in their ministry to offer public ministry in that way. Then I imagine with a grin imprinted on their face, it was pointed out to Alexander, Alexander, you've just been speaking to us for 20 minutes in public. This is an important story that shows how vital it is for our congregations to help draw out and recognize the gifts of those who are younger in our midst. The recognition that the call to priesthood ministry is not reserved to certain generations or groups of people and affirms that all generations, yes, even those of us who might be intimidated by those who have come before us, have a collective wisdom to share and gifts to offer. Alexander accepted that call and would eventually also be called to serve as apostle and later on as presiding evangelist in our tradition. Within Alexander's story, I find the gentle reminder of how all are called has always been an important identity marker within who we are as community of Christ.